Hello, welcome back to the channel. Just checking, it is now, what we had here, another, um, another three mil. Um, kind of, this summer is turning out to be very similar to last year. Um, yeah, just pretty rubbish, isn't it? Uh, raining today again. Um, Although we haven't actually had that much rain recently, it's had been having showers, but the amount we've still been irrigating. Although in the last 24 hours now, we've had nearly, what do you have, 10 yesterday. I had nearly 15 mil overnight. Um, and yeah, so things are getting wet now. Um, and it's looking unsettled for the rest of the week. A bit frustrating that winter barley is ready to be combined, pretty much. Um, but that's definitely not going to be this week. Looks like there might be a dry spell coming in the end of next week. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get combining then. But good for some things, good for the grass. Get the great, we're getting some fertilizer on the grass now. Um, and it's also going to be good for all the forage crops, keep them going. But then after this, hopefully, that'll be enough rain and it'll go nice and sunny and we can have the start of summer. So fingers crossed, that's what happens. Cross route, broadcasting some more grass. We've got the 145, the Amazon spreader. We are sowing an Italian rye grass today. You can see all the seed here. Um, hopefully it's gonna race away. Um, this all had potatoes in. It's been worked out. Just gonna put a few more bags in. Using germinal stuff from DLF. Um, Talent rye grass, very good, grows. Um, see the varieties here. Aber, Aber niche, and a Kiga. I don't know how on earth you say that, but anyway, those two varieties. Um, it's a really good mix. Um, comes from our, we've got a local farm, lodge farm, who supply it to us. Um, so we're very fortunate in Jersey. Our climate allows. That's the grass seed there. Um, our climate allows that these Italian rye grasses, um, they pretty much grow year round. Um, unless we get a very cold winter, um, they'll keep growing and it enables us to graze our young stock um, all through the winter. So it's really handy. So these are all getting sown now. Um, just when you got to the end of the hopper, need to refill it. Um, these fields potentially actually are gonna be left to have a first cut of silage off them next year and then they might have maize in them, so forage maize. Um, aim to cut the silage in April, plaster it in a slurry, and then we'll plough it up and put first crop maize in. Um, so, yeah, good. Okay, some more bags chucked in the hopper. We're also just out mowing a bit more third cut. We've got the 145, take the mower off, and we've got the McHale, um, McHale mower on the back. Just setting the drone up, hopefully get some drone footage for put that on the video today as well. Um, uh, this has gone slightly, this is not, these are organic lays, organic uh, rye grass, red clover lays. It's the third time it's been cut. Cut nearly five and a half weeks ago now. I said before, rye grass does grow quick, but it also goes into flower and put into head. Slightly more than I'd like it, tiny bit stemmy. You can see there, it's just getting a bit stemmy. Still a bit tender, and there's plenty of nice clover in the base. Um, so hopefully, really quick, it'll just mowing it now. So it's about four o'clock, five o'clock, and it'll be picked up, raked up, and baled tomorrow. Um, so yeah, just trying to catch. We've got literally a weather window between now and probably about three or four o'clock tomorrow. So it's pushing our luck, see how much we can do. But I just want to try and get these Italian, Italian lays knocked off before we get the next band of rain, and hopefully. It's looking like we don't get another chance till uh, middle of next week. So leaving this another week, fair enough that the yield would increase, but then it's just gonna go into more stems. So trying to get it cut now. Um, you can see here, never shown you before, but on the first cut we did, but you see there at the base of the mower, um, that's where the blades are. And these metal things here, they're called conditioner tines. They, the grass passes through through those tines 
and it just gets cracked in half. You can see there it's been cracked, um, and there it's been cracked as well. That just helps it dry out and wilt quicker. Um, and wilting is basically the drying of the grass. It doesn't need much, just helps it dry a little bit, um, and then we can get it baled. So we'll crack on and I'll get the drone up. Dancing Pavel. This is our seed crop. Um, so this is our Jersey rules. You can see we look after them differently to how if these were going to be harvested for when we harvest them for export or for you know eating now, um, we harvest them when the when the horn or the stalks. So this is here. They're all still usually lush green. Um, however, these are for a seed crop. So when we harvest for export or for lifting for eating, uh, eating potatoes, um, we usually harvest our potatoes around, I don't know, 11, 11 12 weeks. Um, these are now 15 weeks or 14 and a half weeks since planting. Um, we've let them grow a lot bigger. Um, and now we are trying to, so if you dig down, um, it's always quite hard actually doing this with one hand I should learn you can see they've got a lot bigger um, they've actually got a bit of scab but down here there is quite a bit of scab um, much bigger than they usually would be and we want these skins to set so you can see they're not as quite as flaky as usual um, see this over here What we're doing is cutting back the stalks so you can see here look that that's where he's just passed um this has, they've died off quite well already but what we're trying to do is cut the stalks kill the pets kill the potato completely that then encourages the potatoes to skin set and the skins then will set which means we can store them inside it's got lots of blades metal like hammerhead style blades they spin around and they cut the stalk um, and that is what's causing it to do this and then it all gets mulched up like that now so as you can see there these are starting to set already but they are still you see they're still a bit flaky um, if we harvested this now and put it into store and we stored it for next year's seed crop they would show that these would just basically rot um, and there's also a chance that any infections can actually go into the potato. Whereas if we leave these now another two, three weeks in the soil, the skin is gonna set, and then that will, when, when you try and push your hand over the potato, that won't happen. All these skins will be rock solid, and then that means that any issues they'll store, we'll harvest them, put them in bins, they'll either go into the fridge and be stored in the fridge, or they'll either be tipped into our chitting trays um, and then uh, basically we then start our standing process so that's the sizing and sorting like I showed you back in the autumn um, but this is the start of our seed crop this is the second block of our seed we've done um, we did uh, three fields which was about 10 or 11 acres last week and we'll just do about well, roughly that area for the next month. And that will just enable us then to have seed crop to lift a little bit every week um, from the kind of end of July, right through August into the first week of September. And it will just help us tighten our work with our courgettes, tomatoes and lifting the seed crop. It just keeps the guys with, with things to do. But seed yields hopefully will be fairly good this year. A few of them did get restricted by the lack of rain um, but these all look pretty good down here um, it's quite light land down here we're down at La Rock east down on the east of the island down in Grooville um, it's like sandy loam 
it takes a long time to dry out in the spring um, but once it does dry out it's quite productive nice soil so just see Paolo as he comes back time one more time um, got the John Deere 5 115M and a Basilea topper Italian ryegrass done, which has all gone a bit too far. Um, the perennials of the clover, they will last another week or so. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed the rain stays away till about three o'clock tomorrow. So, thanks for all for watching. If you are enjoying it, please don't forget tap the like button, click on subscribe. If you tap the bell, you'll be notified of all our videos we put up every Wednesday and Sunday evening.